Hi all, I'm Anton from Anton's Mindstorms Hacks. Um, in this video, I want to show, I want to share this uh, creation of mine. I'm really proud of it because um, it's a model that Lego commissioned and it actually has appeared inside the Lego Mindstorms app recently. What this model does is it, um, it's an add-on for Tricky. Tricky is one of the base models and it can scan the environment and then drive over there and then flip over everything that it sees. So uh, we've called it Flip and Tricky. And the included program um, does only uh, the automatic scanning and flipping stuff over. But what's also fun with this model is um, actually uh, remote controlling it so you can drive around and flip stuff over and what's really cool is if you build two So I also have a spike prime set and with that uh, spike prime set I built another tricky model and um, Now we can uh, use both of them and have a little sumo competition, oh. and flipping competition Which is a lot of fun to play together So um, let me show you where to find the model the first thing you do is um, start the Mindstorms app, of course, go over to Tricky and I've downloaded all of the um, activities. If you haven't done so, there is a green button here that says download all activities and then this uh, fan invention Flip and Tricky will appear and you can start and then here comes the building instructions. And once you've built it, um, in the second step here, you have the program. Um, this is So this is the basic program that does what happens uh, exactly in this movie. And you can see that the robot will start scanning, will switch directions if it saw something and then start scanning again and then uh, try and flip over anything it sees. For this video, we're not so interested in um, the automatic scanning. We want to remote control it. The remote control is possible with the on-screen remote control, but I want to use the PlayStation 4 remote control, um, which I like a lot. So um, it feels like wireless control. Um, let's get to it. I'm going to create a new project here by clicking on code. Okay, turn on the robot. Cool. So the robot is connected. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is um, yeah, try and just drive and then when we've got the driving right we will do the flipping of the arm with a with the cross button on the PlayStation. Um, before we can start driving I think I have to repair I have to pair the PlayStation controller again so I'm going to open my Bluetooth preferences here and pair the PlayStation controller. By, you can do this by pressing um, the PlayStation button and the share button and then the light will start flashing Cool, um, you can see that the PlayStation controller is connected when the light is uh, shining with a constant um, I think it's a light blue here and then it's connected It also says connected here on the screen No um, Let's see so we have a new project here and when the program starts we're going to control the robot in a loop in a forever loop and we're going to use the advanced the more motors extension for the reason that when you remote control a robot these um, the start motor block is a relatively fast block so you get more control loops and it's um, it controls better so this is a very fast block takes a very short time to execute and it works great in remote control loops um, let me check where the right wheel is that's B left wheel is A apparently so while watching the numbers here I can check which motor is which so um, um, let me duplicate that let me see. So when we drive, we want to drive forward and backwards. So um, let's first um, drive. Oh, we have to add the PlayStation DualShock extension here. Um, okay, I'm going to drive 
on the left stick and the Y axis. So let's see if that works. Left stick, Y axis, duplicate this, duplicate that. So now it should power both motors by the left stick, Y axis. Let's see what happens. Okay, <laughs> I had, the funny thing is, I had expected it to run forward, but what it actually does is turn, because I'm, the motors are opposed, so I have to uh, reverse the forward motion on every, on both motors. So let me do that. Let's reverse them. So, oh, I have to stop streaming. Okay, so one has to be reversed and the other has not. So I'm going to gamble here a bit. Actually, I could deduce it, but I can also just try it. Oh, no, it drives forward when I push backward. So I guess the reversing wrong, going to reverse the A motor and put now it drives forward and backward okay that's cool but we also want it to turn so we were going to have to input the uh, turn ratio also um, in this um, start motor what we're going to do is um, add the turn rate to the forward rate for uh, one motor and subtract it for the other motor so this is going to be an addition and duplicate all of this, drag it in here. I should put that at zero. That will make editing uh, easier. Okay. Duplicate this. Now, um, if we multiply this by zero, we will get exactly the same formula as we had. Um, let me already set the x-axis there. No. Um, so now we have the y-axis times minus one and one. So these are reversed. And the, um, I'm going to use the right stick. Whatever we do on the right stick, it won't register because um, I'm multiplying it by zero. I just want to know if my left stick still works. Okay, now we can add the right stick to that. Um, let me first try one and one. Okay, what happens? Okay, now it works, but it's exactly the other way around. So I'm going to reverse both of them. And I actually think it turns rather fast. So I'm going to go for a um, a minus 0 0.7 multiplication here. So it's both reversed and scaled down 70%. Let's see how that works. Okay, I can go forward on the left stick and turn on the right stick. Hmm. I actually prefer it all on one joystick. Uh, so I'm going to make everything left stick, left stick. I can drive forwards, backwards, I can turn. So I'm happy here with the remote control. It, with a simple loop I connected the PS4 to the motors here and it's a pretty fast control loop. You can of course do the same with the on-screen controls. Um, it works more or less the same. Let me hide that again. Now. Um, the next thing is of course to make the flipper flip and I want to bind that to the X button. So what I want to do is take um, the remote control hat here that checks for a button here when the cross is pressed and when this happens we want to run the motors uh, forwards or backwards. Um, for the flipping mechanism um, and we're just going to use a 
shortest path to position block for this. Um, the flipping motors, they should go to, um, let me first go to the check, make the released. Um, uh, when the, E and F um, should probably go to about where they are now when it's released. So that's 330 and 30. Okay. Let me see if that zeroes. Okay. Yeah, so now it, it exactly copies the number as are up there. And when it's pressed, um, let me push it all the way up and now it says 209 and 157 let's say um, pressed pressed let's make that 200 for here and 160 so the sum is 360 so we know they're both turning the same amount of degrees let me see if that works. Okay, that works. So when the cross is pressed, it executes the shortest path go to a movement. And when it's released, it resets to the original positions. And there we have it, um, is the remote controlled version of um, Flip and Tricky. Um, and I think it's a lot of fun. Let me, we should probably try it here. Oh, this one is a little broken. Let's see if it flips other robots. Okay, not bad, not bad. So now you know how to program this one for remote control. What I did for a PS4 controller is more or less the same for an Xbox controller or the on-screen controls. So um, choose the controller of your joys and have a lot of fun with Flipping Tricky. Thanks for watching and um, please subscribe. Hope to see you again on my channel soon for more tutorials with the new LEGO Mindstorms robot inventor. Bye bye.